Did you know that we are consummate com- professionals? Yes. That we are consummate professionals. <laughs> I was about to say, did you know that we are constant or continent professionals? <laughs> Not knowing actually what that meant. Consummate? Con, con, uh, con, I know what consummate means. <laughs> I was going to say constant. And I was like, consonant? Consonant. I, that sounds like a mashup of words. It probably is a mashup of words. Um, <laughs> hi, welcome to Patch Pouch Capades. <laughs> well, you sit on we're, the pouch. We sit in a pouch. Like a little kangaroo, and we're all going to hang out and play video games together. It's very cozy. It is a cozy couch. and it, <laughs> It's a cozy pouch. It's a cozy couch inside a cozy pouch. Who knew that was going to happen? <laughs> also, there's like a third of the island we had no idea about. Yeah, we missed Jill. Jill was supposed to be the first one we ran into. Yeah, Jill, Jill's the main character, and we're like, all right. Uh, after the we, we took a right. Yeah. After the last episode, we were like, there's got to be more, right? And then I yeah, found yeah, totally forgot about Jill. A whole freaking third of the island. So we're like, mm-hmm. all right, cool, more to play. But I found the monkey. Yes. Hello, monkey. Caw, caw. Sharp talons, razor beaks, and bracelets. Where you least expect it is I, the bracelet shop. Would you like to buy one of my beauties? Only five hundred snips. Uh. Yeah. Woohoo! Wonderful! Another beauty joins your collection. I got another bracelet! Wow! Purple. I'm excited! Think of all the new things I could climb! Yes! It seems that my time here is short. I must take flight! Goodbye! And just like that, he was gone. And I don't know where he went. Let's go talk to Jill. Okay. Ah! Oh, wow. Actually, that, <laughs> that was perfect. You found Jill. I found. We also have a lot of other characters yeah, to talk to and get them to the playground. quite a bit. Yeah. Running around. So let's. We did not get any of You got one of them to the playground? No, I didn't get anyone to the playground. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I, there, was, there were a lot of them. And I'm like, all right, let's see if we can power, quote unquote, power through these yeah. to get as many as we can to the playground. So Because hey. we've got to upgrade things. Hi, Jill. Uh, what's up? Great timing, Scales. I want you to meet my friends from St. Hogarth. I'm going Were to. You Jill? I think I was Jill. Okay. And I was like, I'm going to love going back and watching this playthrough going, wow, we didn't. The only. There was no consistency. The only consistent voice was Heroi. Yeah. St. Hogarth? That's the prep school you're studying for, right? The very same. Hi! I'm Suzanne, fearless leader of the Paragons of St. Hogarth. This is Jean and Anton. The Pentagrams? The what? The Paragons. What's a Paragon? It's like a knight. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. We're a small but motivated study group, always looking for new members. Speaking of chill, maybe you and your friend would like to join us for independent projects. Oh, um, I don't know if that would be, uh, appeal to Harry Edison's interest necessarily. What's independent projects? Some kind of game I-, I can play? It's exactly like a game. We individually conduct research studies, then unite to share our findings. Oh, uh, that's, that sounds like school. I'm scouring the forest for evidence of paleolithic tool usage. I'm kind of glad you got this voice and not John. <laughs> what were you going to say? I don't know, but I was not. I was like, oh, no, this is just oh, not something. You know what? Go ahead and try this. I'm a researching old bar- bartering methods. I'm researching old bartering methods and the establishment of uniform currency. I kind of like Beatles. Those don't, they, they just don't sound like games at all. It sounds like you invented schoolwork to do. Alone. Pretty much. Assigned fall reading is no challenge at all for the Paragons. Invention is the only path to enrichment. Plus, it's fun. And extra credit. But all this work and our break is only so long. This isn't Japan. Right you are, Hiroi Edison. We're wasting valuable daylight. Time to move out and get started. 
paragons, go! Yeah, I have like so many other things I'd rather do. Like sleep. Paragons, perambulate! <laughs> I don't remember what perambulate means. Wouldn't needs. even be able to do that one. <laughs> We're working on that catchphrase. Jeez, what a drag. A sunny day in the park, and they're gonna waste it on imaginary work? Yeah, they're cracking down hard, huh? Aww. Probably because they don't have a super cool friend with super fun game with a super fun game in progress. Ready to head to the playground? Scales, I wanna help you with your sister. I, your sister. I wanna help you win your sister over, really. But if St. Hogarth is this competitive, I need to step up my game. I need to come up with an independent project, first of all, and I'm not even sure where to start. Aww. What? But it's fall break. There's time for a million projects later. We should be having fun. Sorry, Hero Edison. I guess I have to choose adult stuff this time. Aww. Oh, Jill. Uh, Jill? Yeah? Aww. Are you eating your homework? Yeah. <laughs> Is that how it works? I'm hoping to absorb all the knowledge because sooner or later I'm going to push myself to a limit trying to get to law school, completely get stressed out, and then have a mental breakdown. It'll probably be 32 in my young life. A uh, Jill? Yeah? I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. Probably not, but we haven't figured out an established way to make it better. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> you see? I'm doing cocaine! <laughs> John, try that again. See you. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Jill was so excited about prep school until her friends started talking about all that science stuff. And then her eyes get really wide and I don't think she blinked anytime she talks to me now. <laughs> Why are they working when they should be having fun? It's like they don't even know how. Oh. Fred, that's it. Jill's friends don't know how to have fun. If I can convince them to join the game, they won't have time for imaginary work and just have an imaginary game to take up their time and Jill won't have to work as hard. Aww. I should try doing these projects with them to gain their trust. I may even, may even have to learn something. No! But it'll, be all, but it'll all be worth it to save my friend. All right, quest start. Suzanne, Anton, and Jean. Don't worry, Jill. Oh, you blinked. Okay. <laughs> Jill's working. Jill's working. Uh, one of them was, yeah, one of them's over there. Ah, yes. Suzanne. Hey again, Hero E. Edison. Have you decided to rally with the Paragons? Sure, yeah. I, um, uh, thinking about it, I wanted to see what kind of project you were doing. Excellent. I'd be happy to introduce you to the thrilling world of rock engineering. You have it's got to thrilling. be shitting me. Doesn't my tie explain how thrilling it is? Is it business time? It's time for business digging. Uh. Rock engineering is all about building tools and systems for safe and efficient excavation. Is it a dead body? I, uh. To do that, it's important to understand how strength, size, and temperature affect rock fracture during mining. A single calculation error could cause a massive landslide or cave-in and devastate the lives of- Wait a second. Mining? Rocks? Tools? Strength? You're like a blacksmith. It is exactly like a blacksmith. Or anything else that keeps you this excited about it. Whatever it is. That's great. My friends and I are building a fantasy town at the playground. You should come be our blacksmith. Sounds admissible as community service. I would be honored. Unfortunately, I'm still in the middle of my study. You wouldn't believe how hard it is to dig up a Paleolithic artifact around here. Is it because there were no Paleolithic artifacts around here there at the time? There are things from the Paleolithic era all over the place. You just need to know how deep to dig. I can find an artifact for you. That's just the kind of thing heroes do. Is that so? Hmm. In that case, 
I have devised a brilliant plan! Oh, noble hero! Heed the plea of this adroit metal rite! I seek an enchanted metal min mineral on a far away coastline! Adorant? Adroit! Adroit? Adroit! What does that mean? <laughs> Straight up and down! Oh. Like a sword. I'm a very serious metal right. I, uh, you know, I I'm understand. Very serious that. and steady. <laughs> okay. I know how to get shit done. Okay. All right, that's fine. You need a rock from the beach. Yup. Pretty much any beach rock, as long as it is overflowing with magical power. Bring a nice sparkly beach rock back here, and together we will forge something that will blow you away. Okay, Suzanne, you're kind of cooler than I thought. Can do. Guess I'm gonna go find a rock and just. Oh, there's somebody else. <laughs> Let's make sure we're not on the other side of the tree. <laughs> uh, hello, turtle friend. Hey, Anton. Oh, you're no, you're a lizard. My bad. <laughs> oh, I thought he was a turtle too. <laughs> yeah, no, he's a freaking lizard. Yeah. <laughs> hey. So you're like the beetle guy. Just a normal guy for now. Still waiting on the tragic surgical mishap that will transform me into the beetle guy. I love him. So you're watching Cronenberg's <laughs> The Fly, him. huh? That's what you're doing Aww. with Jeff Goldblum? <laughs> oh, Anton. I, I don't know if that's like age appropriate for you. It gets a little weird. Huh? Never mind. Did you need something? Yeah, I'm getting people together for a game and there's a legend of a hero character you'd be perfect for. A beetle related character, I assume? Yeah, they love beetles and they talk funny and sell you rare stuff. It'll be fun. <laughs> it's beetle. It's beetle. <laughs> oh, I love it. Holy I love it so shit. Much. It's beetle. From Legend of Zelda. That's amazing. Oh my God. I'll pass. Oh. I've got my own rare beetles to find. Oh, that's okay. Do you want help with that instead? Really? Yeah, I'm the best at helping. I'll find that beetle so fast, you'll be done in no time. I'm in no rush. But another pair of eyes couldn't hurt. Take a look at this. Oh, that one? I've seen that one in a science book, in science books. It's a Hercules beetle. You might be familiar with it from the game Animal Crossing. That's like the cousin to this game. I, I, I play some Animal Crossing, yeah. They're native to this forest, but not common. Are they really that big? Only if they eat their vegetables. Uh, uh. All right, beetle dude, calm down the jokes. They're slow and clumsy compared to other beetles, so about as fast as us. You have to surprise it. Gotcha. Get your net ready and start sneaking up behind it. And then let go of the A button and you'll snap your neck. Did you just tell me I'm going to snap my neck? I meant to say net. Okay. I, uh, I don't know if I want to take on a Herculean beetle if it's going to snap my neck. They eat rotting wood and fruit. I usually look around fallen trees. Gotcha. Gotcha. Also, listen for a sandpaper sound they make. They stridulate their abdomen against their elytra too. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I have all the beetle knowledge in my brain. I'm a beetle finding machine. No more beetle facts required. Right, well, take this in case you see one. I got a bug net, perfect for capturing giant evil beetles. So evil, good or evil, I'll take whatever you can find. Dead or alive, preferably alive. Actually, I only want alive. Okay. I can... Yes. Okay, so I gotta find a rock and a beetle. And we need to find the third friend. The third friend, which is the power here, of three. I'm gonna take a wild guess that you're all the way up you the top. You have so much stamina. Look at that. Oh, a little oh. too high. Here we go. Oh, that was me. Yep. My word. If it isn't the great hero who seeks to unite us all in the heart of the world. Whoa, you already know about the game? A good marketer must always keep their nose in the latest news. Uh, I adore the idea. I've already <laughs> devised a quest for you. Aw. Awesome. Better yet, I've incorporated elements of my research paper. Oh man. Around here, paper currency is scarce. 
but our hearts and lunchboxes are brimming with life. The conductions, the conditions are perfect to experience real life bartering. A cupcake for a keychain, three juice boxes to build fence, that sort of thing. I have paper currency, sort of. It's paper, at least. Unfortunately, I lack even half of your creati creativity with raw confetti, so it holds no value to me. However, I do have a heroic service I need to be that I need I need to be performed. You have a heroic Yep. Maybe you'd be up for it. Well, I guess if it is a heroic service. So heroic. Up on that nearby hill in the land where the leaves never change. That's kind of cool. Yeah, evergreen leaves. They're the horde of trees. shape monsters. Oh. Shape monsters? You mean shapeshifters? No! You might catch them doing a pinch doing a pinch of shifting, but mostly they just shape. <laughs> Whatever they are, they have a small chance to drop a special yellow triangle. Okay. What kind of special yellow triangle? Oh, you know, just huh? maybe three of them. Heroes are all about getting yellow triangles. Yes! I knew you'd appreciate that thought part. <laughs> Once you have the yellow triangle, I'll trade you anything in my thought for it. Cool. What's in the shop? Right, of course. Let me get all that laid out for you. Here it is. A fine selection, I dare say. <laughs> Have a look around if you like. Otherwise, I wish you safe passage in the hills. That's a pile of soggy gum wrappers. Civil yeah. spitballs. Perfect for dazzling delinquents or bullying <laughs> magical monsters. <laughs> They're pre chewed, oh. pre and packed with gum for extra water. Oh, gross. Uh, gross, no thanks. That's your taste. How about this? Sticks? A sprig of magical springtime grass. The greenest, most vibrant grass you'll ever see. I, um. Uh. About that. It was much greener when I gathered it back in the spring, of course. You know what? That's fair. What about this one? You have a keen eye for finer, for finery. Yeah. That is my only product that isn't made of garbage. Can you believe my mother was throwing it away? No. It was a nice serving dish, but I can only dream of how a, how a clever hero might put it to use. It's pretty. I think I'll pick this one. Splendid. I look forward to, your, to a lucrative trade. You are but a triangle away. Okay, so I gotta go get triangles. A beetle. A beetle. And a rock. And a rock. From the beach. From the beach. This is not the beach. This isn't a beach. Okay. Let's just go. Oh, we have someone to the, add to the playground. They are shape monsters. They're shape monsters. They're... They are circles, triangles, and squares. That's amazing. That's shapeshifters, but shape <laughs> monsters. <laughs> no, come on. What do these guys have to have it? Someone. Someone's got it. That yellow triangle we've been looking for. Why do you have to? Seriously? <laughs> How rare is this drop? Very. There has to be more somewhere. Oh, hi, guys. Aw. Last one down. Eat socks for breakfast. I didn't make sure I read that crap. <laughs> Where? Am I missing one there of the shapes? To, there have to be more shape monsters. Has to be. You're not a shape monster, but I'll still smack you. Yep. Shape monsters. Where where'd you go? Just like check check around here. Hmm. Cause he said it was up on this hill. Yeah. He did. I'm I wonder if we have to go back and talk to him and just be like, uh, uh Oh, should we talk with yeah, the uh with this guy first? Are you talking to a fly? Oh, um, sorry. I didn't think anyone could hear me. I'm trying to get a good photo of the bird in that tree. How come? Um, well, there's this study group from a fancy prep school in the park today. I hope if I share my bird studies with them, they'll let me join them. But I don't have any good pictures and the bird I'm watching hasn't moved in hours. Huh, maybe if you throw something up there, It'll get spooked and fly off. Oh, no, 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 no. I I wouldn't want to risk hurting it. <coughs> but 
I guess if someone climbed up there to scare it off, that would be okay. Okay. <laughs> go, go, Hold on. Go. I can do this. Let's do it. Okay, it's that, that one. one. Okay, let's Not go. this one. No, but uh, what I can do is... Chirp. Chirp. You also have a lot more stamina now. <laughs> that's, that's true. There we go. Got it. Oh, that's perfect. I did it. Yay. Yay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I got the perfect photo. Okay. Okay. I can do this. Uh, I'm going to go show this to the Paragons. Here's something for you. Have some confetti. I got confetti. Taking nature photos sounds like fun. Oh. Wish my phone camera wasn't so old and low res. <laughs> um, I wonder. Oh. oh, cool. You can make a, phone, a camera. That's really cute. See, we could have had a camera this whole time. Wait. Yeah. You can make an actual digital camera. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Go back. Go back. Oh. Right on the left or the right? Oh my god. <laughs> we could have had picture mode this whole oh time. Oh my god! That's amazing. <laughs> I love how big his nose is. Oh, we got it. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Get a picture with your friends. Oh my god. Did you get it? No, I'm like. Oh, that's so cute. And then get the screen capture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you can get everybody put where you want them and then grab the screen cap. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. Really that's cute. really, really cute. I like that. Uh, I didn't find... Okay. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay, hold on. <sighs> okay, so we need to go back. Yeah, we... I can't believe I missed it. We missed it somewhere. And then we're still looking for the beetle. Yeah. Where? And we need to go to the beach. The beach. Oh, oh more shape monsters. Here we go. <gasps> Half a cheese sandwich. Finally. <laughs> I must have cleared out the whole forest for this yellow triangle. Not the kind I was expecting, but it must be what Jean wanted. Time to go trade up. <laughs> Do it. Trade with Jean. Get a new shield. I cannot believe the just the gold the gold triangle. That's fantastic. Gold triangle. You know, just randomly. No reason. Okay, here we go. Just Jean, one. I'm back, Gene. Is this the yellow triangle you wanted? I had to fight my way through the entire forest, but I got it. Oh yes, it is. But uh well about that. Hi, hero Ethan. Check out all this cool stuff I just bought. It was gonna cost me a bushel of apples, but I don't know what a bushel is, so I haggled it down to two apples. Nice. What, Gene? It's, um, well, you were taking a while to find the lost lunt, and I was getting very hungry. Oh. So I got a bit desperate. Oops. You can't just sell the whole shop while <laughs> doing a heroic service. No, of course not. Very bad form. Oh, this is quite the pickle. Wait, Hero Edison, did you want to buy some of this stuff? I was supposed to get one of them as a quest reward, but... Okay, let's haggle for it. Haggle? Oh, well... Let's see. Esme will want the grass for rituals. The shiny beads for perfect and are perfect for Andromeda. I was going to use this weird frisbee as a serving platter, but... I can part with it. What do you want for it? Well, I've been looking for something to be the signature dish and focal point of my restaurant idea. Something that sits neatly on a plate, but upright enough to be seen from an audience angle. Something brightly colored to contrast the dark cutthroat world of comp competition cooking. Something that projects both opulence and scarcity. Aver, you're really getting into this. Something like, I don't know, Half a cheese sandwich. That's very specific. But who only finishes half of such a delicacy? Okay, I'll give you that one, Avery. 
Seriously? <laughs> yeah. I, I have that. You do? Yep. Let's trade. Deal. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> I have this real fancy looking big plate. <laughs> Man, bartering is easy. Sorry you won't have a fancy plate to put on your sandwich on. What do you mean? Oh, dang, you're right. That's okay. With my bartering skills, pretty soon I'll be rolling in plates. Ha! Ah, you'll have your own plate mobile. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go in my amazing patent pending plate mobile. Bye, Hero Edison. Bye! Well, that was fortuitous. <laughs> you got off the hook easy. I hope you learned not to make promises like that next time. Aww. Absolutely. From now on, I'm never doing business on an empty stomach. <laughs> I guess that means the research project is canceled, huh? Heavens no. This kind of data is indispensable. What? To witness an exchange of goods completely outside of my influence was inspiring. If I can convert the raw materials lying around into more goods, I can stimulate even more of such trades. Say, you're good at making things. How about a business partnership? Ah! I'm out. I'm out, dog. I'm out. I'm out. I don't <laughs> want to do this. I love that your plate has the barcode on it still. Right? That's amazing. All right, so. We got to go to the beach. We got to go to the beach, and we got to find this bug. Yes. The bug is going to be on a log. Oh, yeah. That's right. A log that was. Yeah, like a felled tree. What? Oh, my God. Oh, I um, don't remember him. Um, hello. Let's go. Let's freaking go. <laughs> uh, are, are, are you oh, okay? Oh, he needs help. Get it out. Okay. Get what right. out? What do you need help with? All right, all right hold on. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait. Someone wait. to talk to. Oh, there, there's a beach, beach rock. rock. I got a beach rock. I mean, enchanted ore. Suzanne can smith this into something cool. Maybe it'll be a magic sword or an amulet. I can't wait to see it. Oh, we, could... we gotta help this guy. Oh no! Oh, that's very painful. Ah! Oh, that's so cute. You can't talk to him. Wow, I feel so much better. Thank you. Oh wait, no, oh. hold up, hold up. There we go. Hold up, hold up. There it is. You're you're welcome. How how do I talk to you, dog? Hold on. Um, Billy. Billy. I'm, I'm feeling much better now that you pulled that whatever it was out of me. Thank you. Aww. Do you go somewhere? Did you go somewhere once you were done? Your blowhole ballasted me into outer space. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. It was fun. Don't be sorry. It was awesome. Oh, well, um. If you ever want to do it again, feel free to climb up there. I don't mind. Aww. New friends in town. Yes. Billy. Billy, don't you lose my number. All right. I've got to find this. got to find this beetle. I've got to find this beetle. Then this is going to be. I freaking love Billy. Billy is my new favorite character. <laughs> Billy, I love you. Love you too. Right, I'm going to take a wild so, yeah. guess. We need to find a few more people so that once we get Jill in, then we can get her thing upgraded too. Because we needed 10. Oh my four. God, I found it. Oh, there we go. Huh, uh, there it is. Th th that's a Hercules beetle. I have to move as little as possible so I don't scare it off. Just barely tap, tap, tip, tap in direction. In a direction. Soft as possible. Okay. That's fair. Oh, I tripped. Uh, my cover's blown. Chase the beetle. Oh, God. Chase oh. the beetle. Uh, quick, before it gets you away. You went too fast. Where's the beetle? There he is. No. Oh, oh, oh. Go, go, go. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Get him. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Getting so close. I there lost you go. Shit, there it is. There he is. I'm just here like, surely he won't go far. You still got the net? I'm so equipped? close. Okay. Yeah. It's at the tip of my net. <laughs> ah! Can you chase him over to the right direction? Yes. Oh, gotcha. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, right. oh that's cool. Hey, you got it. Oh. Tuned in. 
Thanks for the assist, Harry Edison. I guess if stealth fails, sprinting and flailing can be okay too. Sprinting and failing is all flailing is all I do. And maybe a little failing <laughs> happens sometimes. Hey, is your shirt a cape now? Oh yeah, uh, it's my costume. I'd like to join your game if that's still okay. It's just I'm more than my hobby. I like beetles, but I don't want to be the weird beetle guy. I thought I could be a hunter or something. You can totally be a hunter. <laughs> even a monster hunter if you want. <laughs> nice. Oh, and if there are too many people around, I can go hunt in the wilderness for a while. Yeah, hunt some wilderness monsters. Or some ground beetles by the creek. Yeah, wait. I might have to borrow Suzanne's shovel. Wait, but... You wouldn't want to scare some bugs out of the mud for me, would you? Uh, okay, happy hunting, bye. I'm out. I'm, I'm, I'm out, man. I Okay, here we go. Get over there to Suzanne. What the oh hell? Oh my god. I got the ore. Great. Great. The forge is hot and so is my smithing spirit. Set it here and we'll get started. Wow. What? Is it a good rock? It looks like basalt. Seafloor basalt with veins of quartz. Basalt is perfect because it's easier to break down than granite, but heavier and more solid than pumice. Not to mention the fault lines are superb. It should fracture into the shape we want all on its own. Did you know that right around this time, around the time Paleolithic animals evolved to rock upright, they would? All right, yes, it's a good rock. Ha, ah, sorry. Yes, it's a really good rock, and it has cool lines, which of course means it is very magic. Now, all we have to do is heat it up and apply pressure so that it fractures. Pressure? Should I sit on it? Should we sing it a David Bowie song? We should put it under pressure. Dun, 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 dun. I was thinking you hit it a bunch, you know, like a blacksmith. Oh, violence. I can do violence. I woke up today and I chose it. <laughs> it's true. Then have at it, hero. And hone your tool of violence into one of your crea one of creation. Should I use do you the have net? A, do you have a better weapon? I, let me see if I have a better weapon. <laughs> More appropriate one. The laser sword? Laser sword the or laser a pencil? Sword. Do the, we'll do the laser sword. Okay. That's violence! Okay. Violence! Just like that. Don't let up! Don't do it! Hold fast and strike true, Hero E. Edison! I'm Let's do this! Violence. I see you! Hero, do you feel the fire of creation igniting your heart? I want to burn this to the ground! Do you feel the Earth's power searching through your bones? I am the last airbender! Brace yourself! Ah! Almost there! We did it! From ash and sweat, we have made our mark upon the world! What is it? What is it? Is it a magic sword? Oh, is it a laser wand? A power ring? A key to the underworld? Better than all that by a landslide! This is a historical landmark! Have a look for yourself! You've earned this noble tool! It's a hammer. <laughs> it's, it's a rock. <laughs> Attached to a stick. With a piece of string. <laughs> and some lines on it. Yes. Ooh. Is this it? Don't you see, Hero E. Edison? This isn't just a rock and a stick. It's transformative. In the footsteps of the engineers of old, we forged the foremother of all tools from nothing but Earth's bounty. It must be millennia, even hundreds of millennia by now since our two very distant lineages united under this exact goal. Unless you count the Neolithic and Paleolithic periods as indistinct, in which case... Ah, no more lore, please, no more. Huh? Suit yourself. Well, that wraps up my project for today. I'll head to the playground as soon as the other paragons are finished. Are you sure you don't want to hang around and hear all about? Nope, thanks for the rock. See you there, bye. Dang it, that's all of Jill's friends. 
I did so much boring work. <laughs> and it backfired. Every single one of them just got even more into their project. <sighs> Time to tell Jill the bad news. Oh. And I got a rock. Who it says it's bad news? On a stick. It's kind of amazing. It's kind of cool, actually. I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you guys. Hey, Jill. Sorry, but my quest was a complete failure. Quest? What quest? I was trying to get everyone to have some fun so you wouldn't have to work so hard. But it didn't work at all. Gene is like trying to inject economy theory, economic. E economic theory into the playground. What? Yeah, and Anton and I found this awesome beetle, but he only wants more beetles. Wait, really? I thought Suzanne was going to do something fun. But instead, she just made some kind of authentic paleo paleolithic tool or something. Wow! Yeah, sorry I couldn't. I've got to say this! Oh. Huh? She ran off. Weird. I should catch up with her. And please, she's not far. Hey, Jill. Are you all right? You ran off. Oh, sorry, Scales. It's just that everyone's project sounded so exciting, and I couldn't wait to take a look. Exciting? Really? You bet it was exciting. We've all had a great time playing your game, Hero E. Edison, and we have a lot to show for it. Uh, oh, man, I forgot his voice already. Absolutely, absolutely we do. I wouldn't have learned half as much about trade if it weren't for them. You've been a big help. You mean, you guys were having fun the whole time? I thought all you only really only cared about was school stuff. Of course our education is paramount, but a growing mind needs rest and recreation as much as study. Mental health awareness is one of the premier Paragon pillars. Aww. Oh, cool. Does that mean Jill won't have to work so hard? <laughs> I suppose I got carried away worrying about keeping up. After all these star, Nicole. if all these star scholars can make time to play, then so can I. Aw, oh, Jill, you flatter us. Great, so, uh, so you all at the playground? Count on it. Yay! Quest complete. Yes! And there they are. And the achievement unlocked and it popped in right there. Why did it pop up in the middle? I don't know. <laughs> Those usually come in in the top corner. Yeah. I, why did it do that? Huh. Weird. All right. Okay. Should we come back next time? Sure. I think if I remember correctly. Oh, wait, wait. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Tactical roll. <laughs> I told you to warn me before you do that. I think there is. I know there was a little hippo dude around yeah, somewhere. Yeah, the hippo dude's right here. I remember that much. Let's I'm... go talk to the hippo dude real fast. You want to do the hippo dude real fast? Yeah, he's okay. so cute. Okay. We, we've got a little bit of time. All right. You want the hippo dude voice? Uh, sure. Oh, his name's Gunther! Do you want him? I love him. Do you want him? Uh, wow. No, actually, you, you take him. You take him. Whoa, 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 it's you. It's the legendary hero. I heard there was a hero on an adventure, so I've been waiting all day for you to come by. Ha, it's me. Do you need help with some sort of quest? Yes, well, no, I mean, kind of. It's a request. Can I be your sidekick? Oh, um. I've always wanted to be a hero. I have a hero name and a catchphrase and everything. But I don't have any work experience. My dad says that's important because of the economy. I don't know about... <laughs> please, 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 please. Let me be your sidekick. I'll carry your stuff and clean your cape and... Take come on, on come on, take dump. on a sidekick. Well, okay, I guess I could try having a sidekick for a little while. Yes, 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 yes. This is amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What should we do first? Carry something up a mountain? Learn about swords? Uh, maybe we can start at the playground. We're building a town there. Whoa, that's so cool. Let's go right now. 
Uh, okay. Hey, wait up. Oh my God, do we? Are... <sighs> you need a break. Are you okay? Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, I'm fine. Oh, oh, I just need to breathe for a second. Okay, let's go. Go, uh, go, go. Uh, oh, wait. Oh. It was... oh. Wait. Oh, it's just like two steps. I'll be right there. Are... It's just... Uh, are you sure you want to follow me around all day? Sorry. Oh, you're really fast. Oh, maybe I wouldn't make a good sidekick after all. No, no, no. I, I'm sure somebody at the playground could use a sidekick. Oh. Maybe someone who likes to stay in one spot for a while. <laughs> You think so? That'd be great! Work experience, here I come! Oh, I almost forgot. Here's that stuff I was holding for you. Did I actually give you any? Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> Andy's <laughs> gone. so cute. Love Gunther. Okay, and you went from here. <laughs> yeah, no, here. he's fine. He's fine. He's good? He's good. Okay. He'll make it to the playground. We'll see him there. Okay. Then I guess we'll come back next time. Yeah! See you later! Bye! I'm kind of worried about Gunther. Did he get lost? I mean, he might get a little lost, but, like, he'll go at his own pace. He only took, like, 12 steps. Yeah. Poor little hippo. He's fine. He's fine.